What's going on guys? So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do animations in Webflow. It's pretty amazing. Um, in a previous video we did, let me um, try to make this screen, there we go. Um, we did this animation with this nav menu button where it spins one way when you open it and spins the other way when you close it, um, which was easy to do and awesome. Uh, and now we will kind of animate like over into view as you scroll the elements into view, um, which can be very effective at making your site look a lot better. And it's really easy to do in Webflow, which is awesome. So you can literally just select an element, go over to interactions, hit this plus sign for element trigger, and then select scroll into view. And then when scrolled into view here, you can literally just select like slide. And actually their kind of default slide is looks great. Um, so you have direction slide in, you could do slide out. You have from left here, you could do any of these options. Um, this element is on the left, so we'll do in from the left. You could delay it if you want which I'll show you a little bit of that to customize it a bit. Um, so that one in from the left, we'll select this container that has these elements and then do the same thing. Element trigger, scroll into view, and then slide. And this one we will do slide from the right. And now if we scroll back up and hit preview, it looks amazing. Um, and another thing we can do is instead of doing this entire container, um, we can do each element and then um, stagger them a little bit. And it looks really good. I'll show you that. So I'm going to do the trash can here to delete that animation on this container and then just select the text, element trigger, scroll into view. And we're going to do slide from the right um, with no delay on that first one. But then on the second one, selecting the element, scroll into view, and slide. Do from the right. For this one, we will do, say, 200 milliseconds. And then all these logos using Flexbox, we just select that container that contains all of those. Scroll into view, slide, and we'll do 400 milliseconds. And this will be from the right as well. And now if I scroll up and scroll back down, see they kind of stagger there. So looks really cool. Um, and yeah, you don't want to do it to like every single element, but you know, every once in a while it can uh, be effective and look really good. So like these ones, just go ahead and quickly toss it on those. Scroll into view, slide from the left, and then this as well. Slide from the left, that looks good. Let's check this out again. Beautiful. Yeah, nice. Um, and so, you know, we could stagger these as well, do like this heading, this line, and the uh, call to action contact us button. And this is a component, so let's go into that to edit the component. Scroll into view. We'll do slide. And then try to select this one pixel line here. There we go. Um, scroll into view. Oh. Slide. So I'll do like 250 milliseconds on this one. And so this is on the right side. But since I have the other ones going left, I will have this one coming in from the left as well, just to kind of keep them uniform. 
oh, we'll do this one for 500 milliseconds. And let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks great. Um, and then, you know, maybe last thing is just kind of stagger these. Um, which, yeah, I mean, you probably don't even have to watch because it's really that easy and you probably uh, have it down already. It's, it's awesome. Gotta love Webflow. So, slide in from the left, and then let's see, select that, scroll into view, slide, and we'll do 200 milliseconds. So, now if I go, oh, let me get out of the footer there, it was in another component. So, we'll do the whole page now. Look at that, let's spread this out a bit. Pretty much the best animations I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, yeah, looks might add it to those, but I'll do that um, after I'm done recording this video. But yeah, super easy to do, very awesome. I will link that other uh, navigation menu button animation in the description and also link it here at the end of this video. Um, I have a playlist of Webflow videos going. Um, like this video if it was helpful. It's probably a lot easier than you realize, so that's good news. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more Webflow tutorials. And thank you very much for watching. Check it, check it, check it.